Okay, so guys, I am currently in Orlando International Airport right now. About to have a flight back to Maryland. Guys, I have my fifth high school reunion. Oh God, I'm old. I've not seen these people in five years. This should be interesting. They used to make you uh, write to your senior self. To me in 2013. Good job. You graduated. I plan on going to Florida University or Colorado. I don't know what I'm doing in four years. Today we went to Hood College. The food was good. And then uh, I, I I, think I, I drew myself. Yeah, nothing has changed that much with me. I went to high school in a very small town. Let me, let me just show you a uh, clip to just explain how small our high school was. We did stuff like this. Five years literally just flew by. And last year, Kate graduated. I never even showed you guys the footage of Kate graduating. All right, Kate, have fun standing around. We'll be cheering you on. Freezing. I'm in shorts. I miss my warm weather. It's not how you treat your elderly. <laughs> no, no, could you please move it? Get that thing out of my face. She's tormenting me. Is, is, it, is this the proper ticket? Oh, is, you're not allowed in. Not, <laughs> thank you. I remember being a lot bigger when I graduated. <laughs> so there's a rare sighting of our principal that we had in high school. We only saw her when we first came to high school and when we graduated. She never left her office and barely came to work. So we're gonna ask her if she missed us. I missed you so much. How are you doing today? What are you up to? What? I'm going to, I live in Orlando now. What are you doing down there? Do you know if we're putting on Jacob's Coconut Bikini right or not? Dude, I think it's upside down. Oh. Yeah. to cry, but oh my god, it's freaking little Jerome! <laughs> Working for Disney. I know, I, I said the speech. What should we expect? My speech, it'll be, um... Coolsville High School is the number one high school in all the universe. It's really the theme of my speech. It's yeah. record breaking. Good to see you. Alright, good to see you again. <laughs> Recipients of the Maryland Steel of My Literacy. Last child graduating. Honor. Catherine Mary Heimbach. Catherine Mary Heimbach. What was I like as a kid in school? Very sweet, okay. very concerned about his family. Wanted me to take care of his little sister when she got to high school. Yes. You were a naughty boy. <laughs> Hectic, but fun. <laughs> you had to use the bathroom a lot. <laughs> what was it like when I went to the bathroom? Oh my, you never came back. You did disappear. I, I think you lost a sense of time. <laughs> okay, so this is the stage where I walked across four years ago. I know. And then Kate went off to college, so I went to go visit her. This is where you do your laundry. That's what? My, that's my sock. I lost this sock like two weeks ago. Oh, this is this is ratchet. This is my sock I lost <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> the women's bathroom is properly labeled with a magic marker. Welcome to Kate's crib. This is nice. Are there any pictures of us? There's a whole wall of pictures, but you don't have a picture of your brother. There's more pictures of you and the dog than your own brother. Why does it say cold beer? You're not 21 yet. Our RAs love it. All right, let's see what uh, Kate is eating. Cheese puffs, mac and cheese, and Oreos. I'm glad you're eating very healthy in college. And you're gonna do four years of this. I'm very proud of you, Kate. I know, I barely made it through high school. Don't tell me these things, Kate. Many months later. We're currently moving Kate back in from college. Look at all this stuff. This is everything she had in her dorm. Coming in hot. What is this hamster ball? It's a bra ball. What is so, a bra ball? Bras are like $75 when you have to wash it. Is a bra? What? You They're put it in here. No, that's how boobs get saggy. You, you wash it and it gets shooken up. The wires don't get fucked up, so they're all nice. Kate, I'm so excited to see what you're gonna do with your life because if it's just like yesterday, you're in preschool, not smiling like Dom. The face you kind of make when everybody graduated, you're like, what the f 
am I gonna do with my life now? I didn't know what I wanna do, so my mom said, hey, go to college. I tried a bunch of different classes, thought I was gonna be a mechanic, thought I was gonna be a video editor. I ended up going to the Merritt Hospitality School, and they said, hey, go try and work for Disney. I'm so glad I made that decision for myself where I wanted to go with my life. I am the happiest I have ever been in my entire life. Like, I got a new job at Disney, I'm gonna tell you guys about that later. Now, <laughs> let's cut to my fifth year high school reunion. Okay, we are here, it's time for our high school reunion. Jamie, are you excited to visit everyone who probably didn't even talk to us? <laughs> oh God, here we go. Okay, Libby, where are we right now? Class of 2013 reunion. It was a very interesting night, but I know what you've been thinking. Did my friend Tommy rap? Of course. She's he may be a LeBron Jr., right, 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 but right, right, he's right. the real deal. Right, 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 he right. passes better than him. He shoots better than him. He has the he has the flow better than him. Flow, flow, flow. Is Tommy Mergy a good rapper? No. No. Wait, what? So I was talking to all my classes, like, hey guys, like, you know, what are you guys doing with your lives? You're all getting married, having kids, while your boys just trying to worry about getting slinky dog fast passes. A lot of them were really struggling with, like, being an adult. And I honestly feel like high school didn't really pre prepare us. Did our high school prepare us for the real world? 100% honest, no. <laughs> Why? A, a math test or a science test or a biology test, they can't teach you about the real world. The real world is cruel. The real world is fight for what you need. Whatever you want you got to work hard for it just because you don't go to college doesn't mean you're not going to be successful do 150 percent at whatever you want to do in your life and you will be successful no matter what those are the lessons that you need to learn from school and i feel like my good friend brandon explained that perfectly i think it's gonna be really interesting to see where everyone is at at their tenure and yes, I'll film it for you guys at the 10 year too, don't worry. The biggest advice I can give to you, no matter what age, is guys, don't take life too seriously and have fun. What'd you say to your high school self? Oh God, uh, follow your heart. You just start living the dream. I love little Shura. Yes. Stay drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. If you can't make them see the light, make them feel the heat. It's okay to be different. To sin by silence rather than protest makes cowards of people. Don't be afraid of who you are. Enjoy your life. Whether it be baby wear pups, whether it be comic books, enjoy. Love enjoy. life. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Use protection. <laughs> Kate! He's from Jersey Shore, but I don't care. He's my man, and he has black hair. 